Hey guys, welcome back for another tutorial, a very quick tutorial. Today I will be creating interactive elements in InDesign and this is just the first of several. Uh, today I'm going to cover uh, creating a testimonial interactive slide and let me show you exactly what it's going to look like. This is the PDF that I created in InDesign. This is the cover. Once you go on the inside, click. It takes you to the portfolio page where we have eight images in a grid, which takes you to those individual pages. And we have social icons, logo, some information there, and some icons there. And all the icons and buttons are included in the download. So feel free to do that. We have a form with a little rollover here, some contact information. And we also have a testimonial page, and this is what we will be building today. And it's a nice way to put several testimonials on a page. So, with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now we're inside InDesign. And let's go ahead and go to the master page. This is the cover or the master page if you want any of your elements to show up on every page this is where you will put them and on the individual pages they wouldn't be editable but they are right here but there's a workaround I'll show you that later so let's go ahead and go to an interior page the portfolio and by the way you see these guidelines all these guides if they if you want to remove them just hit W and they're gone and you hit W again then they'll come back and these buttons here you see how we can't touch them you can't click on them but there's a workaround if you hit shift command shift you can uh, click on them and then you can uh, edit them you can edit them right here outside of the master and these link to destinations and right there this one is going to that particular destination which is a page further down but let's go ahead and go to the testimonial page all right here we are I have two on the page and that's all we're gonna work with today but the uh, template has four let's go ahead and get those aligned and let's let's actually let's go ahead and turn them into buttons first so let's go ahead and make this a button and we're gonna call this one test one for testimonial one and this one here is going to be testimonial two, test two. And let's go ahead and get those aligned again. And just pull them up a bit. And now we're going to make our bullets. That's going to be our navigation for those two. And I think I'm going to have this uh, gray color. And Go ahead and make that a button and let's call this bullet one. And I'm gonna hold down alt, slide it across, and it's already been named for us. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and just I'm gonna grab alt and duplicate these. These are going to be our hover and focus buttons, states. Let's make them white. And let's go ahead and name them accordingly. One hover sounds about right. Uh, let's do this one. Two hover. And now let's go ahead and just move them over. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get some functionality going here. See this one we want it to show and hide. And it's going to show and hide. You don't want those, you want that to show. You don't want the hover for two to show. And you want testimonial one to show testimonial two not to button one of course
course. We don't want to show that because we're going to show the hover on that one. And so forth, you want, right, you want that to show. And hover two, not to show. And for the second, we're going to do the same thing. Now in this one, you want testimonial one, not to show. Testimonial two, to show. And you, you get the gist of what's going on here. It could be confusing if you have a bunch of them, but we're just working with two here. But in the template, you have more if you just want to use the template. And we want the second button. When you land on a page, we don't want it to show until it's triggered. So. And the same thing for, for the uh, second testimonial. We don't want it to show until it's triggered. All right, line those back up. And let's go ahead and get our hover states in place. And to make sure they're lined up properly, let's go ahead and just do the same thing. And that should do it. Let's go ahead and uh, ex let's go ahead and export this out as a PDF, and make sure it's an interactive PDF and not print. That's very important. And I'll go ahead and save to desktop. Go ahead and replace. And we have pages, and everything else seems to be fine. And PDFs usually render out in the background, but not for interactive PDFs. No but it doesn't take long. And let's see what we have. This is the PDF, go ahead and enter. Let's go click on testimonials. And here we are. And yep, it's working just fine. I hope you guys found this video useful. And please go ahead and download the template. It has a lot more functionality than I covered here today. So, Go ahead and do that and check back because I will be discussing adding forms like the one you saw today and buttons, icons, and maybe even a photo gallery. And when you're building your InDesign PDFs, keep in mind that you can repurpose it for print and also apps. So take care, guys. I'll see you next time.